Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the new episode of Medical Research Made Easy. In the last episode, we started learning about the study designs. And we learned that in the medical research field, the study designs are basically divided into two types according to one important and the famous classification. And they are the descriptive and the analytical studies. So in the last episode, we learned about the descriptive studies that basically they are the observation based studies. The researcher does not intervene in the descriptive studies and there are no control or comparison groups. Just the data is presented based on observations. So the types are the case reports, case series, the cross section studies and the qualitative surveys. The case reports and case series studies we have learned in the last episode and today we will see what are the cross section studies and the qualitative surveys. So what are the cross section studies? These studies are also known as the transverse or prevalence studies. They collect data from different individuals in a population at a single point of time. This is the most important point in understanding the cross section studies that they record the data from different individuals in a population at a single point of time. These studies do not follow the patients. In the last episode, we learned that in the case series studies, the individuals are tracked down, but in the cross section study, they are not tracked down and the data is collected at a single point of time. So they are just a snapshot of the situation and uh, the cross section studies are best for measuring the prevalence and incidence of disease. The advantage is that they are cheap and easy to carry out, but in the field of evidence, they have the lowest level of evidence. You can see from this example, the prevalence of breast carcinoma among women of ABCCT. This would be a cross section study. So now let us learn about the prevalence and the incidence terms which are frequently used in the medical research. So what is the prevalence? Prevalence basically constitute on the number of all old and new cases of a disease existing in a given population at a given point of time or period of time. So there are three important things. The prevalence basically is the number of all new and old cases of a disease that exist in a given population and at either a, at a given point of time or a period of time. So just assume that the administration wants to find out the prevalence rate of tuberculosis in a city so that they can allocate the health resources and the budget. So how they can calculate the prevalence rate? So we suppose that the data is centralized. So they have to find out all the new and old cases either at a given point of time or period of time and they have to add them and then divide by the total population multiplied by 1000. So let us suppose that the number of cases of tuberculosis during that period were 1000 divided by 100,000 total population and multiplied by 1000. So the answer is 10. So the prevalence of tuberculosis during that point of time will be 10 cases per 100,000 population. So let us see what is incidence. Number of new cases in a defined population at or during a specified period of time is the incidence. So incidence basically is the number of new cases that are in our defined population and either at a specified period of time or during a period of time. So let us assume that the administration, they want to know the incidence of COVID in a city so they can manage the epidemic well, they can allocate the resources. So the, how they can calculate the incidence rate, uh, they would uh, be knowing the number of new cases of the disease. Again, assuming that the data is centralized and they can get the record easily divided by the total population at risk and again they have to multiply it by 1000. So suppose that during that ep epidemic, the number of new cases during that month, suppose uh, is 10,000 divided by 100,000 and multiplied by 1000. So the answer is 100. So the incidence 
रेट ऑफ कोविड ड्यूरिंग दैट मंथ इन दैट पॉपुलेशन इज हंड्रेड केसेस पर वन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड ऑफ पॉपुलेशन यू कैन अगेन अंडरस्टैंड द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इंसिडेंस एंड प्रेवलेंस फ्रॉम दिस एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बाथ टब द इंसिडेंस इज बेसिकली द एडिशन ऑफ वाटर फ्रॉम दैट टैब इन टू द टब सो दिस इज द नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसेज एंड द प्रेवलेंस इज द वाटर दैट इज दैट इज प्रेजेंट इन द टब विच कॉन्स्टिट्यूट्स द नंबर ऑफ न्यू केसेज इन द फॉर्म ऑफ वाटर एंड द ओल्ड केसेज विच इज प्रेजेंट इन द टब एंड द पेशेंट्स विच रिकवर एंड द वाटर दैट इज गोइंग डाउन इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेशेंट्स वुड डाई दे आर सब्ट्रैक्टेड फ्राम द प्रेवलेंस so what is the uh, what is the fourth type of uh, descriptive study they are basically the qualitative surveys so they constitute on pre determined qualitative questions and they are asked to a cross section of population to collect data suppose uh, this is the study why patients with hip fractures in uh, any city they consult quacks for treatment so if a researcher is uh, investigating this question by a survey and he asked this question to a certain group of people in a population that will be a qualitative survey so thank you very much that's all for today in the next episode we will start learning about the analytical studies